Now, according to BJP sources, uh, Nitin Gadkari is scheduled to attend the BJP demonstration early morning uh, in Delhi when he will leave. Uh, he will leave for a two-day tour to Northeast, which is Arunachal Pradesh and Tripura. His Northeast program was finalized three months back, but he will attend the Delhi demonstration and then leave for the Northeast. Gadkari. Uh, Gadkari's decision, it seems, to station himself in Delhi is a change in plans as he was initially to address a rally in Arunachal Pradesh according to a schedule announced by the BJP central office. This was seen as a move to keep him out of the spotlight at a time when the Puthi case seemed to weaken the BJP's anti-corruption plan. So change in plans uh, as far as the BJP strategy is concerned. Nitin Gadkari will very much be in Delhi uh, in the, uh, taking part in the anti-graft campaign, taking part in the demonstrations outside the Prime Minister's house and will only be for his Northeast tour two days later. Well, uh, we will, of course, uh, try and understand what is the BJP thinking behind this sudden change in strands. Sources telling headlines today that Gadkari will campaign in the anti-graft campaign outside the Prime Minister's residence. Uh, this despite the fact that he himself is embroiled in several serious charges of uh, graft and impropriety. And uh, has uh, these allegations, in fact, have turned out to be a major embarrassment for the BJP. But the BJP is putting up a brave front. Nitin Gadkari will participate in that demonstration which is planned outside the Prime Minister's residence. Let me go across to Atish who joins us uh, on the phone line for more on the story. Atish, what is the rationale of having Gadkari lead an anti-corruption campaign when he himself is being charged with impropriety. Isn't that uh, leaving it open for the UPA government to attack the opposition? Well, Rukmani, we can also look at it that this probably is a well-planned strategy by Nitin Gadkari and BJP because there were a lot of allegations against him and there were also speculation that he may not, he he's not got a great deal as far as FDI protests is concerned, he's going to Arunachal. So party is trying to protect him. And that is the very reason why, because he wants to lead the campaign against anti-corruption and will protest towards 7 RCR just to prove a point that he is open for inquiry and there are other leaders who are also involved in various corruption cases and financial bungling but there has been no decision taken against any any of those leaders or even an inquiry has been ordered against all of those. This is a well-planned strategy by Nitin Gadkari. He knows that parliament session is coming. BJP will have to face a lot of criticism as far as their own corruption is concerned. So why not? Attack. So that is the, that is something which is a, a strategy. The attack is the best form of defense. That rather than being uh, guilty about what they have done, let's attack and let's take Congress head on.